Hello my Wolfpack and welcome to another episode of our PBAL Draft League Battling. So this week we are battling Josh and the Hope Speak Deoxys. It's week 10, it's the final uh, week of the main season. Now, judging by things currently, it looks like I am guaranteed a spot in playoffs, but there are a couple of matches that st still need to happen, so I might not, but we will see. Now, here we have got a very scary team. We have got Tapu Koko, Talonflame, Tauros, Kurum, Heracross, Nidoqueen, Umbreon, Tangler, Registeel, and Slowbro. This is just a brutal team to go up against. Um, it's currently second in the division, and you can see why, because there is a ton of bulk here. Umbreon, Registeel, uh, even Nidoqueen somewhat, um, and Slowbro. And then you've just got a ton of Pokemon that are just really destructive uh, in general. So you've got Tapu Koko, Tauros, Kurum, Heracross. They are all very, very scary monsters to deal with. Now... I immediately um, looked at this and I saw Blaziken with a Choice Scar is probably going to be one of my best mons in this scenario. So we've got, uh, it takes on Coco with Earthquake, Talonflame, it couldn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talonflame struggles with uh, Tauros, close combat, Kurum, close combat again, I think it's guaranteed to take it out unless it's like max defense. Uh, Heracross and Aerial Ace just obliterates it. Um, assuming that it's not the Choice Scarf Heracross, I'd be very, very um, scared if it is Choice Scarf Heracross. Nidoqueen, again, an Earthquake, and we do outspeed Nidoqueen with um, our Earthquake um, rather than it using Earthquake. Umbreon, we've got Close Combat. I think it's a two-hit KO, but I've also got the U-turn for chip damage. Uh, Tangela, uh, Aerial Ace does a fair amount of damage. I decided not to go for the fire type attack because I felt that the fighting type attack just covered the majority of the mons. Uh, we've got Registeel, which I think is a two hit KO, which is really nice. Obviously the Registeel with Toxic can be a problem. And then we've got Slowbro, which I really don't have anything for, but I guess in the worst case scenario, I can U-turn out. Um, I can Earthquake possibly and just cause some damage for it. EV investments, I've gone for a lot of speed. Uh, a lot of speed, I'm designed to outspeed Nidoqueen, I think if it's a uh, modest nature, or like if it's a, a not a plus speed nature, I'm designed to outspeed it. Choice Scarf allows me to outspeed everything else on this team, um, which is really, really nice. And hopefully I can just obliterate the majority of Mons. Obviously Talonflame is my main problem here, um, along with Slowbro, those two are the Mons that are really, really scary for me. Um, but along the line I do have a couple of mons that can hopefully deal with that as well. So really really fast here to outspeed everything. Um, assuming that it's all Scarf. I do have a prediction that Tapu Koko is going to be Scarf to be able to deal with Dragapult really well. Um, possibly even Kuron being Scarf to deal with uh, Dragapult. But yeah we will we will come to that when we, we need to come to it. Moving on to our next mon we have got Mudsdale. Mudsdale is <clears throat> excuse me one of my favorite mons one of my favorite mons on this team in general uh we've got stamina uh we've got leftovers here and that's combining really nicely with our body press there so hopefully i'm going to get hit by like a, a really low damaging attack and it's going to allow me to get my plus one in my defense and that will allow me to really cause problems for like the umbreon uh the reggie steel as well um as soon as i get hit by attacks you know i'm just i'm just i'm flying We've also got uh, Earthquake on here. As I said, Earthquake ground type moves. This team has a, a big weakness too. Uh, we've got Tapu Koko obviously hit with Earthquake. Rock Slide, I hit Talonflame. Taurus is hit by Body Press. Kurum is hit by Body Press. Heracross, I don't really have anything for, but if I'm at like plus four um, in my defense at the point that I'm dealing with it, then it should be fine. And realistically, Rock Slide is going to do an okay amount of damage. It's the only move that I've got that's neutral um, against it. Uh, we've got Nidoqueen, we've got the Earthquake, Umbreon, we've got Body Press, we've got Tangler, uh, with, uh, we haven't really got coverage for that, but Body Press will probably do a, a fair amount of damage, I don't really want to stay in against Tangler, uh, Registeel, we've got Earthquake, and then Slowbro, uh, we've got Earthquake, but realistically I switch out because Slowbro is kind of scary, um, I do outspeed Slowbro naturally I think, uh, but it's a very scary mon um, for my team in particular. There are a couple of mons that do deal with it okay, but um, there are a couple of mons that do not deal with it very well. In fact, I think it has coverage to hit super effective on all mons except Snorlax, um, which is actually kind of scary. But <laughs> moving on, we have got Thunderous on here. Now, Thunderous kind of fills in the holes that are left by Blaziken. So 
Uh, Thunderous Tabby Coco, we can just sit there and be fine with essentially. Um, like the Dazzling Gleam, yes, it's going to do a lot of damage, but I can set a nasty plot up against that, and realistically, I can then um, hit something. The ta Tabby Coco, I don't think it two hit KOs with Dazzling Gleam, I think it three hit KOs, um, but I obviously do need to be cautious. Talon Flame, we just Thunderbolt and it just go goes bye bye. Tauros, uh, we are not fast than but we do have Focus Blast if we need to uh, do anything. <laughs> um, Curum, we are faster than and a Focus Blast at plus two completely obliterates it. Heracross, we have Psychic at plus two obliterates it. Nida Queen, again we have Psychic, plus two obliterates it. Umbreon, uh, plus two Focus Blast. I'm not sure if it takes it out, I can't actually remember if I counted it, but it will do a fair amount of damage. Obviously Tangela, we've got um, the ability to use Psychic or Focus Blast. Registeel, we've got Focus Blast, and then Slowbro, we've got Thunderbolt. So the two holes that were left in, the Town Flame and the Slowbro with the Blaziken, we have now got covered with Thunderous with Thunderbolt. So that is something that makes this combination really nice. But Slowbro does obviously Ice Beam, um, so I have gone for the Yachi Berry here. And same with Curarim, obviously it's Ice Type Stab. Um, so I've gone for the Yachi Berry to reduce any impact that it might have on me, because um, if that Curarim is Scar, it can definitely one-hit KO me. Oh, well, there's a chance to one hit KO me. Um, I don't think it can like, definitely one hit KO me, unless it's Blizzard, but I doubt it's see Blizzard. Um, but the extra barrier will reduce any damage output on there. Um, yeah, so that is Thunderous. Um, it's designed to outspeed Kurum. Um, it's obviously anything that's Scarf, like Scarf Heracross, is a problem. Uh, Tauros, Talonflame, and Tapu Coco are a problem, but realistically um i can deal with the tapu coco somewhat i can the talent flame will not come in against thunderous um and tauros it can cause problems but at the same time i think we should be okay against tauros moving on to our next pokemon we've got a defensive pokemon that's going to allow us to um sponge up some attacks we've got rocky helmet and sturdy here <coughs> excuse me rocky helmet and sturdy um obviously sturdy there for things like the Talon Flame coming in and Flare Blitzing. Uh, it takes a lot of damage from the Flare Blitz anyways, and it will uh, obviously get the Rocky Helmet uh, damage as well. Move-wise, I've gone for Drill Peck. Um, that because it just covers more Mons on this team than Iron Head did. Uh, I've got Stealth Procs to allow for chip damage to be taking place. We've got Toxic, which allows us to rack up some damage on some of the bulky Mons, such as Umbreon, assuming that it's not running Heal Bell. Uh, even Slowbro, having a Toxic against that could be really helpful. Obviously, Slowbro does have the opportunity to learn Flamethrower, so I do have to be very cautious of that. And then Roost for Recovery, because realistically, I think the recovery process here could be nice. Yeah. So not really much more to say about this thing. It's just uh, defensive. It's going to hopefully sponge up a few hits. Uh, be good against the Tauros. Probably pretty good against the Heracross, assuming it's not like Thunder Punch or Fire Punch. Does it learn Fire Punch? I'm not sure which punches it learns, but yeah, the Heracross can be a little bit scary. Nida Queen isn't really scary for Skarmory. Umbreon, you know, Umbreon can't toxic us. We can toxic it, but if it has Heal Bell, then we're just going to be stuck in a, a loop, which will be quite annoying. Tangela, we can deal with. Registeel, we can kind of just sit there because I don't see Registeel doing much to us, but at the same time, we can't do much to it. So, you know, like, I don't want that match to happen. Um, we're going to try and make sure that match doesn't happen because um, that's not a fun thing for you guys to watch. And Slowbro, as I said, has Flamethrower, so it can be a bit scary from there. Moving on to our next Pokemon, we have got Dragapult. Dragapult is um, hopefully looking to get a couple of kills here. Obviously, Tapu Koko is a big problem. Once Tapu Koko is gone, I don't have much more that concerns me. I have gone for Choice Scarf here. I'm Choice Scarf to outspeed Kurum um, with um, a Choice Scarf. Uh, that just This speed investment allows me to naturally outspeed it. Uh, excuse me, we've got Draco Meteor, which more or less kills everything in one hit, except for the Coco and the Registeel. Now, Flamethrower, we've got the Registeel. We can sit there and Flamethrower two or three times, and it will just go down. Uh, Shadow Ball is there just for coverage, and it also hits the Slowbro for super effective damage. And then I went for U-Turn as well, just to get out of there, um, because I think some scenarios I might just need to switch out. Um, for example, if I am sat against... Uh, the Umbreon, I definitely want to U-turn out of there and get out so it can't use like foul play on me, which will be uh, slightly problematic and cause a little bit of damage, um, which I don't want to see happen. So, Dragapult working really, really nice here. 
Um, probably going to be a late game sweeper, or I might like, just bring in to drop a Draco and then come out again and then bring on the next Pokemon. <clears throat> the next Pokemon, the final Pokemon we've got is Snorlax. And the Snorlax is again the Assault Vest Thick Fat variant. Uh, this allows it to guard against Curum a little bit easier. Um, obviously, there's no Fire type. Well, there's Talonflame on this team, so I can go up against Talonflame, I suppose. Uh, we have got Body Slam, which just hits uh, the majority of the team for neutral damage. We've got Earthquake, which hits the Tapu Koko, it hits uh, the Nida Queen, it hits the Registeel for super effective damage. Thunder Punch, which covers the Slowbro and the Talon Flame, which are really annoying to deal with. Uh, and then Super Power, which covers the Tauros, it covers the Curum, it covers uh, the Registeel as well. Obviously, I can't use it many times, it does lower my attack and defense, so I do need to be very cautious with that. But if I've got a short hit that will kill it, uh, I will definitely be using Super Power, then switching out, getting another one in, and then coming back in later with Snorlax. EV Investments, I've gone for the attack um, variant here, so max HP, max attack, just going to hopefully destroy a load of different mons here. Um, it's going to be more difficult to kill than, um, obviously, my other mons. So definitely bringing this in against things like Tapu Koko is going to be really helpful. Uh, and the Earthquake, I do believe, one hit KOs the Tapu Koko unless it's shut the barrier. Now, mons that I expect Josh to bring. Koko, 100%. Kurum, 100%. Heracross, 100%. Umbreon, 100%. Registeel, 100%. And probably Slowbro. But he could also bring the Tauros, could bring Nida Queen. The only Mon that I don't potentially see coming is the Tangler. That's the only Mon I don't potentially see coming. The rest of the Mons I could see 100% on this team. Because it is just such a crazily good team. I'm going to be honest. It is absolutely fantastic. It is terrifying. Um, and we're going to try and do our best. I guess we'll see what happens. Anyways, that's going to be all for today, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon.